Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Sunday, August 11th, 2024. We are back with our NFL best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Let's recap yesterday's results. So, yesterday, didn't have the day we wanted. Uh, but one and three yesterday, not ideal whatsoever. Uh, members only, Titans minus five and a half. That was a horrible loss. I think we should have won that, but you know, sometimes you're going have bad beats. Uh, Redskins minus two and a half was an L. Um, horrible loss. We were up 17-10 in the fourth quarter. Uh, couldn't get it done. Thought we had that one. Over 39 and a half, Vegas and Minnesota, that was a win. And with the Browns minus five and a half overall, uh, that was just, I mean, holy crap. I mean, they had the best, I mean, to me, they had the best preseason quarterback one I've ever seen. And they get smoked. So, Crazy, just crazy day, but is what it is. Seven and seven so far in the preseason. And again, it is the preseason. Last year, by the way, in the NFL for the regular season went 218 and 144, 54 and 24 on best bets, plus 73 units. So that's what we're going, that's what we're looking forward to here today. But if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post NFL videos every single day along with college roll, and that's back on MLB right now. MLB, by the way. Just for the record, uh, the video, by the way, is live. So definitely check that out after you watch this one. Uh, the our MLB right now, we are on a we are on a thirty five and twelve run right now in the MLB. Just so you all know, uh, nineteen three and one by the way for members only best bets across the board, and our members are forty percent off right now. So definitely check that out. Website's linked in the comment below. Um, however, you know. Here's the deal. Um, definitely hit subscribe and like the video notification bell. We post these videos every single day. NFL, college football, NHL, NBA, and MLB. Um, we're going after our first, we're going after 15,000 subscribers by the end of the month. Um, and we have a shot at that. If we do that, we're doing a sick, nasty giveaway that I'm going to be announcing on Saturday. Um, if we get to 15K subscribers, definitely hit that subscribe button. Um, but guys, let's jump in the plays we have there. Kind of a bit of a short slate in the NFL today. We just do. But I like the plays I got. So I have, I have two plays for you guys here today. Let's jump into them. First off, we're going Rams, plus four and a half versus the Cowboys. Jimmy G's going to play a lot in this game. Since first off, Matt Stafford, there's no chance he plays because McVay doesn't play starters. And Jimmy G's also suspended the first two games of the regular season. So they're going to give him a little bit more run so we can have, obviously, more experience because he's not going to be able to practice or play games game one and game two, which hopefully doesn't have to play because we don't want Stafford to get hurt. But even so, I don't think Dak's going to play. Um, because I think he was injured a couple days ago, and they're not gonna they're not gonna trot Dak out there if he's hurt. Um, and then you have to look at the quarterback depth chart. I mean, Cooper Rush and Trey Lance. Trey Lance has shown he cannot play, and he right now is listed in ESPN the third string quarterback. He and if he's playing, man, he, he doesn't have the reps. Dude hasn't played NFL football like basically at all, and he hasn't really played college football all that much either. And on top of that, when you look at the Rams depth chart, if Jimmy G plays a lot, I love that because he's a veteran and he gets suspended, so they're going to play a lot. Sense and Bennett's like 45 years old, so he's got plenty of experience playing college football and games. I'm not really sure address for win is, but I think Sense and Bennett's going to play a lot. Also, the, the Rams had a good offseason. They, they filled out a lot of their holes. They're not, last year they were very top heavy. This year they're less top heavy. And I like the Rams' defensive, um, defensive depth a lot more than the Cowboys because the Cowboys are very, very top heavy right now. It's basically CD, Dak, or Bust. That's basically what it is. And they don't have any depth. I mean, when you're looking at the Cowboys, I mean, their starting wide receivers are Brandon Cooks, Wash, and Jalen Tolbert, who, okay, fine. After that, they don't have anybody. They just don't. I mean, they, first off, they do have guys, fourth string wide receivers named Racy McMath, which, by the way, awesome name, just for the record, awesome name. But they just don't have they don't they don't have the offensive depth, in my opinion, to challenge the Rams, especially with how much how ram how um de how deep the Rams are defensively. And defensively, I mean, they lost Dan Quinn to my Redskins. But the fact is, though, is that. They just don't have defensive depth either because they're in cap hell a little bit. So I like the Rams here plus four and a half versus the Cowboys here today. And they're going to go with the over 37 and a half in Denver and Indiana, uh, in <laughs> Indianapolis and in, in Denver, yeah, Denver and Indianapolis here today. Uh, both these have great quarterback depth charts. I mean, for the preseason anyway. I mean, Bo Nix will play today and he, he, he'll play a lot. Jared Sinem will play. Zach Wilson will play without question. And Zach Wilson, you may be like, oh, he's a joke. He is in the regular season, but not in the preseason. The dude's a good preseason quarterback because he's playing against third stringers. Well, the Colts, I mean, they have they have Anthony Richardson, Joe Flacco, Sam Ellinger. Sam Ellinger's played like actual NFL snaps. And then Keaton Slovis, who's, who who played like nine years in college. I mean, very similar sets in Bennett, but I don't know how Keaton Slovis is in the league, by the way. I mean, he's literally transferred, like, I think he transferred like six times. While he was at, while he was there, I'm not even sure why anyone would give him a chance after like the lack of loyalty to any program ever. But even so, 
there's there's seven legitimate quarterbacks who can play in this game on both sides combined, obviously. And on top of that, both these guys have offensive coaches, which means they're going to want to get these guys reps because most of these guys are new quarterbacks in the system. Anthony Richardson will probably play a little bit because he didn't play a lot last year because he got hurt. And also, I mean, the depth chart, I mean, listen, the, the Broncos don't have a great depth chart as far as like a regular season goes, but offensively, they'll be able to put up points. Uh, the Colts defense is fine. The Broncos defense is okay. But I just like I like the fact that we have offensive coaches and we have quarterbacks that will play that are, that are capable. So I'm going to go with the Broncos and Colts over 37 and a half plus the sharp money is all over. And I mean all over the over here today. So I'm rolling with it here. Now, just see, like I said, guys, membership right now is 40% off for a 19 3 and one members only best bet run. You get the zdmbets.com slash picks. Website is linked in the comments below. Uh, definitely that subscribe button, like this video, notification bell so you don't miss picks. So guys, go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I'll see you all tomorrow.